What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing the worst idea I have ever done ever ever on the stream. It's Firefighter Warlord. People have been asking me to do this for literally years and I'm like, no, this is not a good combo. The idea is if you play Warlord, listen guys, it'll buff all your guys for the rest of the game by 1-1 one, one. and then you play Firefighter, which bounces the Warlord back in your hand, so you can replay it the next turn, and now you guys get plus two, plus two for the rest of the game. Now, if you don't understand why this is an insanely terrible, absolutely unredeemingly awful strategy, I, I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to replay this card. Cost, you spend four to be able to replay a card for five, so it costs nine. Imagine Warlord costs nine. That's essentially what you're doing here. <laughs> But it's fine, you get extra Warlord. So, I was thinking of going Pirates early, decided to go for Flag Conjure. So the idea is you're gonna play Flag Zombie, uh, you're gonna spam your one drops, and you can even like spam on turn three, let's say Flag Zombie, and a Buried Treasure for free, and Space Time. Then the card that you conjure is cost less, you can maybe play that, you can play your genetic experiments that are growing. Um, you can play Middle Manager, and then if that conjures a one-cost card, you can also play that for free with the Flag Zombie. Also, Firefighter is a professional zombie, so if something damages Firefighter, it will grow your Middle Manager. Shut up, it's a good combo. Now, the other combo you can do with Firefighter, besides for popping maybe this back into your hand and replaying it the next turn to conjure an extra card. Okay, that's better than Firefighter Warlord. Uh, you can Firefighter a Mug. Let's say you play... Here's the idea. You play Warlord. Then you play Mixed Up Gravedigger. Now this is the real combo, because now you're putting a 6-6 on the field and it reactivates it, your Warlord for 5, not for 9. But Mixed Up Gravedigger can then, you know, bounce, you, it pop everything into Gravestones. Uh, it'll activate your Warlord again, it'll activate your Pogo again. And then you play Firefighter, scoop up your Mixed Up Gravedigger, and then replay the Mixed Up Gravedigger the next turn, which will reactivate your Pogos and your Warlords. And then you can... This will pop out of a gravestone and then you bounce the... I guess you bounce the mix of Gravedigger again and then you play it the next turn? I don't really know. Uh, let's see how this deck is running. I guess Pogo's enough removal, so you don't really have to run removal. This deck would die very badly to, like, beans, because there's absolutely no way of dealing with amphibious lane. But guys, we're running Warlord. This is not a serious deck anyway. Let's see how this does. I, I guess we're just going to do normal bets today. I think that's a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway, because that's what we do on the stream. That's basically my life story bunch of terrible ideas strung together. I don't know why I'm saying that. So, if you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, somehow. <laughs> I mean, the rest of the deck besides for, for Firefighter is pretty good. Maybe maybe if they remove all your early game, Firefighter can just be a drive 4-5 and they'll put something in front of it thinking it's a pogo. Maybe that's the real way. It's a fake pogo, guys. I should have used this in the tournament. Anyway, 8 and 2 is a yes, 7 and 3 or fewer is a no. Over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Frymup. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much, but it's too late to bet because you could just fast forward to the end of the video. You know how you know how YouTube right? I don't have to explain this. We're gonna hard mulligan for more early game. Gosh. You suck, firefighter. <laughs> Guys, we have the combo in our hand already. It's the greatest day ever. I think I'm gonna spam both of these on turn two. Makes them a little bit more difficult to deal with. Instead of one of them dying to a dumb cosmos. Uh, he almost for sure has Spike Weed Sector here, but I guess that's our life, huh? huh? Spike Weed, yeah, kind of sad. It means we also can't really buff this genetic experiment very well. Oh my gosh, that's even better. Uh, actually, this one doesn't die. Never mind, it's dead. Completely dead. Does he put it in front? Wow, he's preserving it. All right, this was great. Oh, he didn't even have to do that because it doesn't grow. I would have just gone... Oh, anyway. Alright, so we're gonna pass turn three. That's nice. Imagine running... Imagine running a three, like a line dancing zombie instead of firefighter. I'm gonna just dry firefighter since it's our only play here. Now, he is gonna think this is a pogo, so this is actually a pretty good fake play here. I mean, he's just gonna play like an astrocado behind this or something. Oh my gosh, it's Starch Lord. Okay. Okay. The good news is he's running out of cards and he has a pretty garbage field considering how much sun we made this turn. Neptuna goes here. It's our only amphibious minion. Uh, we'll just play Warlord. We'll actually have a pretty decent field playing Warlord here. And if it survives, we'll mug. I think we take these. All of these. 
the deed of the doge. It's only three damage in lane one. We'll be okay. Four, three, and I really don't want to get block busted. I think we're we're doing okay in this game. He's not running out of cards. So. He's moving that over there. I don't know what he's playing around. Uh, thank you so much for killing my firefighter. Oh my god. He wanted this to live because he's ramping to something. This is fine. We can mug. Firefighter, you did the job. He absorbed three. This Was this conjured by... Well, it must have been conjured by Starstar. Why does it not say conjured? Oh, because it's dying. It's during the attack phase. It just forgets where it came from. It no longer exists, okay? Um, all we have to do... All we really have to do here is not get blockbusted. Uh, we'll stick the Warlord back in. We're just going to have too many stats on the field for this glip glop we're here to deal with. That's what's really going to happen. Yeet. We're just going to mug him until he shuts up. Imagine running Cosmos and not getting an environment ever. Okay. This still only has six health. It's still dying to, to mug here, yeah. Um, we're gonna play Mug again next turn, so I'm not gonna even spend the Encrypt, there's no point. We're actually dominating. This guy stayed in the water, it's okay. This denies the card draw. Dolphinado is not good here. We'll do that next turn. Maybe we'll just play- actually, we'll just play Space Time. Prevent any more damage from hitting our face. Is there a point of- maybe Dolphinado was actually right there. It's Space Time Mug. Your mom's a gravestone. I could have actually played the space time after. But anyway, everything's gonna be plus 3-3 um, three, three now from this warlord. Which is pretty nice indeed. I'm drinking bubbly water. This stream is not sponsored by anyone, because who would sponsor me? Want more sponsors? Of course. I just paid my taxes. And I have no money, so please donate, because I'm broke. <laughs> For real. Thank you to, um, thank you to, like, Sandwich and Dasherman for sponsoring my stupid, dumb, high Canadian taxes this year. Uh, we usually just win. 8-8 eight, eight, mug. Guys, the Firefighter Warlord deck is about to be 1-0. This is a goddamn miracle. Heck yeah. I think I had a good feeling about them. Usually when they ha can roll a 3, they do. But, there we go. They roll a 3 there at least 50% of the time when it's lethal, right? You know, I probably would never do a sponsorship for, like, Coca-Cola or something like that. It's a- it's garbage. I don't know, I probably would. <laughs> they pay a lot of money. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta sell out. Alright, here we go. That's an insanely it's good starting hand. <sighs> I love it when guys get mad. They get salty that I'm playing ranked, which is the actual real mode. It's the actual video game. Like, now, gotta play on our, on our dumb ELO server. It's way better. I think I pass this turn and then just spam him to death next turn. He's just gonna play Black Eyed here. Which is how can. I'm gonna put the, fire, the flag in the middle so that gets pinged by his, his dumbness. That is gooch. The question is, what am I going to stick in front of this? We're going to spam him pretty hard here. Wow, we actually get the double buried treasure. That's pretty awesome. What do I stick here? I guess it's this one now. That's so weird. It's going to be you. What do I actually want in the middle? I guess this one. So we're going to go... You... Oh no wait, oh the space time should have been here. Whoops, I screwed up. 
Uh, okay, it's Quasar now. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so dumb. Then it's you. Then it's you. We get a free superpower. <laughs> okay. That's our legendary. Oh my gosh, we just got HG power. So this guard piece is gonna go down to eight now. This is insanity. Was I supposed to play the genetic experiment that turn? I don't care. I don't care. I think we have had one good firefighter deck. Let me, I'm just gonna Google Fry Firefighter deck. Yeah, we did have one. It's called Firefighter Good, okay? It was a brain freeze, synchronized goat. Oh, we were running goat and swabby, so you're able to bounce those for free with Firefighter. Okay, that was the, that was the thing. Do I just play this? <laughs> Everything's free. <laughs> Mom is free. Thank you, Jade Kitty, for the 200 biddies. I think I just saved this because it just doesn't... I mean, we can get an inv- I don't know, I think it just doesn't do enough here. I wanna, like, use this on a- on a mug or a warlord or something that's gonna benefit, because our whole hand costs nothing anyway. That's alright. Oh my gosh. We can actually just play- <laughs> Okay, we're just playing this, never mind. La dee da. So, if, unless Quasar pops out in one, we're gonna get another superpower. In fact, we can play said superpower now because of this. So we can actually- even if the- like, if the Quasar conjures it before the, the space-time spa uh, comes out, so it's still going to cost one. Let's see if the Quasar's not here. Perfect. Then space. Okay, so anyway, it costs zero. Alright, that's a pretty good... <laughs> that's fine. This is fine. la dee da dee da Alright, we're going to try to stall for Garg Feast. We might win by then. Flag Zombie lives, so I'm still not using this. Oh, here's the superpower. A dolphinado. Right, we'll use the dolphinado. Thank you, Jade Kitty, for subscribing. Thank you so much. Yes, we got the right one. <laughs> the, the one in three chance. We definitely take those. This this board's looking really full. We need like a firefighter. Oh my gosh, we gotta go in tomorrow. Okay, now now we're gonna play HG Super. I guess we could always play this environment and it'll give us value. Guys, I, I, I can't promise that he's not going to just concede, but I am going to try to stall for turn 8 here. We're going to try to get it done here. Aha! Aha, should I go in viral? <laughs> I really want to stall, so I'm just going to do that. I'll save the going viral. We'll get this Warlord all, uh, all frozen up. Oh, final mission, nice. This is beautiful. So we only have two more turns to stall now. Until we Gark Feast him in the face. I should totally just pass this turn, huh? Guys, we got Firefighter. Pass. La di da di da. Okay. Gosh, the man's annoying. <laughs> He's freezing it. Dude. Do that. All right. Here's what we're doing, guys. We're gonna scoop the. We're gonna scoop the quasar. Okay. Guys, we're scooping the Quasar and then replaying it on turn set 7. This is gonna be... Wait, this is turn 7. I don't even know what I'm saying. Guys, Firefighter, just because. Then we'll have three minions. See, we have to have three minions for the guard piece. This costs eight. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's actually scary. It's actually terrifying. All right, I'm scooping you. Should I play going viral here? Doesn't really do anything, right? Alright. You're dead. Guys, as promised, 
it is most definitely guard feast time. I'm actually going to play one of these zero cost cards here just because we really want uh, this to get blocked or else it's going to kill us. <laughs> so, here we go, guys. Thank you, Starnes, for subscribing with Prime. Welcome to the Prime. I think the guard here will be able to kill this. All right, guys. I bet you anything. I bet you 10 bucks he ain't expecting guard feast on turn eight. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yes. Turn 8 Guard Feast. Is that the earliest Guard Feast ever? And why not put him away with a goddamn bang? Heck yes. Heck yes. Get that wing <laughs> uh, A wonderful day to get Zamba. That is literally what I'm talking about. That is going to know how that count. <laughs> Yay. Today's June 19th. It's the best day for every Jew ever. Clearly. Must be some lucky day. Heck yes. Um, we're tuning up. Dominating so far. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. This hand looks really sad. We also have no environment, so if this is cycle cap, we kind of just lose. Sort of. Alright. There's enough, like, late game for us to just hard mulligan for early game every single time. Uh, I guess we'll do this next turn. I'll just be a hacker. Alright. What's happening? Just slows him down a little bit. But that's like, you know, bouncing a bean back with Admiral on the field is never going to be a good idea, so. Let us go. I guess we're gonna... I guess we're gonna play this here and this here, and we'll cover this next turn. It's better that even if he bury blasts, this will still grow. We can always cover it later. Aha! Now he goes for the blow. Survey says. God oh, damn it. <laughs> Got the best one. See what's in the box. Maybe we'll play flag. This this legendary is very likely gonna be play on K, okay, that's weird. So do we flag first? I guess we flag first. Alright. It's weird having two flags on the field, but I really kinda wanna play this legendary, whatever it is here. <laughs> Wait, do we have any sports zombies? This is so cool! Do I just play it? I feel like this is gonna be better later, but I wish we had a sports zombie to do the evolution and, like, field clear him. Alright, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. It's a- it's a- it's a one cost 4-4 four four that makes this have zero attack. I think we take this. Uh-oh. It's just a hacker. Thank you so much for killing one of my flag zombies. Such a terrible play. So we conjure. Now we just do this. Uh, okay. Triplication with space time. Pretty sure we take that. Usually a terrible card, but three cost triplication, and then each of the cards are gonna cost one. See, that's what triplication really should be. It should be three cost, conjure an imp zombie and gargantuar, and all of them cost one less. That's what the card should anyway just say. You know? You know what I'm saying, guys? Which one of these do we play? This is not a professional, right? Let's go with the one that's... Well, we can conjure a little better. Let's go with the tempo. We'll see what we get here. There's the Berry Blast. Uh, this is fine. We'll do the Going Fire on this. This adds three damage. 
my gosh, we got triplication from triplication. Pretty damn cool. So that conjures another card. Oh! Four cost warlord. I really wanted something amphibious, but I guess this is good enough. Frenzy. Uh, what do we do here? I guess warlord. Warlord and frenzy something. We're actually doing okay because he just doesn't have a lot of beans. Apparently, he can frenzy any of these two face too, which is pretty awesome. Is it cycle cap time? No, it's I wish I was cycle cap time. We're so lucky he did not get the planet of the grapes. Uh, there's really nothing he can do about this either. Awesome. Back. This is usually lethal. I guess if he if he gets one of his two superpowers that blocks this, like he already used rain. Um and he used blow. So he he always it more spore would have to end up in one and two for us to win now. That's alright. He does two extra damage, which is kinda harsh. I mean he'd have to have so many beans. Killing the Astro Stream is key, so he doesn't make some crazy play with a bunch of beans and the Astro Stream finishes up the wheel, so. We only have 8 health here, that's a little scary. I think we got this guy, actually beating Cycle Cap, because we're so lucky. Oh, there it is. He literally top decked it a turn late. No, 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 no. Oh, he only has one sun, so we're fine. Like, even if he gets a bean now, it's gonna do four. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the Matrix just like <laughs> bullets coming at me, barely dodging them. Warlord is not sports, Gladiator is. They're both interstellar things, but I don't know. Uh, welcome from Germany. Cool. Welcome to all the new viewers. Looks like we have a nice crowd here today. 315. At the large. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. Alright. Great starting hand. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, this will pass. Fry, what would happen if you went 10 to 0 with the firefighter deck? I forgot to give Lazarus the shout out for this because he's the one who convinced me to finally try this deck. So shout out to my good buddy Lazarus. Lazarus. I wonder if we just play this dry here. I think we do. We just use this to scare him for one. Well, no, we can blow. We can actually blow a Triceratops. So that's what we're gonna do. Or a Black IP. Black IP is actually not scary since we're not really running tricks in this deck. This actually just gets us through turn two, and we have a really, really good turn three. Like insanely good. All we need is a middle manager to conjure a fossil head, and then it'll be the real play. Who's better for Bad Moon Rising? Huge Giganticus or Brainstorm? Um, my gut reaction is HG, but I don't really consider Bad Moon Rising a, a super competitive card. I don't know. I don't really know the answer to that. They're both decent. Okay, so it's gonna be flag. We're gonna go with okay, so where does the flag go? We want the fossil head. We don't he didn't did he play um He did not play Holofloor. He has seven cards. We bounce one back into his hand. So I'm gonna play the genetic experiment on heights here, probably. We're playing you. You played flag in this legendary would exactly be cheaper. This is sad. 
All right, this is fine. We'll, we'll put this in front of something. Okay, Kirita plus. I don't like that time to shine, man. I don't know. People sometimes in YouTube comments are like, right? Sometimes using time to shine for early game tempo is good. Like, I agree, but not for a one. I don't know, man. Not for a one drop card. You're right. The Etchenek experiment would end up being a problem, but time to shine is such a great card. It just got so little value out of it. Uh, the play here is actually going to be Flag Zombie Warlord. It could actually be Barrel Warlord. I kind of like Barrel, actually. I mean, uh, let's let's go let's go let's go barrel warlord. It means he doesn't have a place to pull it. Like a banana source rex is a pretty common play, or a dry blockbuster because it'll die to the barrel splash. Even have a frosty for next turn. That's okay. Addicted to flavored water. We. Uh, it means we get to play a card here. That's fine. Another warlord would be perfect. Mog is fine, I think. I mean, we're playing into Blockbuster, but we're gonna do that eventually. So, mixed up Grave Digger actually heals everything, uh, and then we'll we'll freeze probably the cucumber. We really would like the Deadbeard or the Mug to be in one here. Yes. We will freeze cucumber, prevent him from drawing a card. It's really bad. In fact, the two places we wanted these high attack ones to be is either against Cucumber or against the Triceratops. So this was literally the worst case scenario. But we're still doing just fine. Prevent him from not only conjuring, but also buffing these dinosaurs. Uh, really would like to see a going viral here. Nothing's really dying, so we can't really make a play unless we get a going viral. Damn it. I don't know. I think we're okay. There's another Lycan card. That's cool. See what happens here. It's a little scary when he's conjuring, you know, legendaries with Captain Cucumber that are being played a turn early. This Triceratops is still not dead. We're gonna need a Pogo or... It could be just spamming minions into this with the... because they're all buffed by Warlord. Just makes it easier to deal with. Damn. The double shamrock it is. That is alright. We actually have a use for this flag zombie now, which is weird. Usually this would have just been a... I mean, it's a 2-4. But we, we actually need the extra one. So, I think we can empty our hands completely here. We'll play the flag, which is very cool. So flag, very treasure. See what's in the box. We still have three for a going viral. There's shark. So it's two cost shark on this field. <laughs> so good. He already used two sham rockets, so he's probably done in the big removal department for the rest of the game. I mean, he might have a third one, but usually you don't even run more than three in a deck. So the chances of him having a third one is so unlikely. And this high health play just does not do enough. Period. Now, here's a really weird interaction. I don't think Frenzy, I'm pretty sure we have seen this before in the last six years of playing this game. If you Frenzy a minion, and the reason that said minion dies is not because of this, this the guy that attacked it, but it, because of the shark's ability that destroys any damaged thing, it does not do a frenzied attack. If it's deadly, 
than it does, even if it's deadly because of toxic waste input, it itself is deadly. Here, it's the shark killing it, not it, so there's no frenzy. We will definitely use this to add damage to the field, though, and um, to get an extra card for the next turn. So, this shark is actually just going to be really powerful in itself. We're up to 11, 12. That's a lot of damage. A ton of damage. And the 7 health space time is barely even feeling the 2 damage here. Uh, so he'll be down to 3 health with no block meter. Got him. We'll just spam flag because we don't want to get plant food to death in one. He can actually double plant food or espresso fiesta and win this game. It's guaranteed lethal. We have nothing in our deck that would even deal with it. And that third shamrock is coming in too little too late. Too bad. And that's guaranteed lethal. GG. That was a conjure. That is what I'm talking about. Listen guys, everyone's getting surprised that this deck is 4-0, but at the end of the day, this is Flag Conjure, and we removed Cosmic Sports Star and put in Firefighter. It's home try It's like, <laughs> this is a good deck. What was the bets, actually? People see Firefighter and they panic. It's the only way to run Firefighter, is it has to be in an already good deck. I guess the Conjure's cool. So, 40, only 56% voted yes. I definitely would have voted yes for this. If we're being real, memes aside, there's four very below average cards in, the, in an otherwise really good deck. <sighs> Shame Rocket should cost five. Should not cost five. Maybe four at least. Make it have some liability. All right. That, uh, that turned pretty good. Just hope it's not Psycho Cap, you never really know. Loves to top deck a Flag Zombie. I like the, the play where you just don't even do anything on turn 2 and do Flag Zombie with all the buried treasures and stuff on turn 3. Um, I'm actually gonna, instead of sp space time here, I'm gonna spam this, and if he protects it with the team up... I'll use it. Oh, now I'm doing... Well, well... Yeah, now I'm doing this. God damn it. So it turns out the middle manager would have been way better. Alright. How do we do this? Space time should probably go face, but I feel like we're playing defensive here. I don't know, man. Space time really does win a trade against the Shroom for two. We're playing space time and then middle manager. Middle manager is gonna go here. I mean, this will well. This theoretically will block more damage. I mean, way in this lane if he wants to block. See so if we get a one drop. Okay, we'll just play this. It plays kind of around buff room. It plays into punish room, but that's fine. Oh my gosh, it's punish room. So he's getting. Oh my goodness! All right, this is actually a strategy that could whoop this deck. We just don't have any field clear. Why can't this be the game where we conjure the uh, the what's it called, the chump champion? This doesn't even die yet. Ugh. Flag, space time, frenzy. Looks good to me. Punish room is kind of mitigated here. I guess we'll buff the space time not only to protect it from the punish room shots, but also to make it conjure going face. Especially if we conjure like a really cheap card here, we should be okay. Uh, he's, we're gonna be down to eight no blocks though. Really, not even. I'll play another minion, or we're gonna we're really low in health. Gladiator would be a nice conjure too. It's in the Galactic Garden set. Damn, that's so annoying. So he's getting so many Punish Room shots. 
please kill the Wonderling 4 or something. That's fine. That's okay. It just means less, less punish room. We take those. I mean, he play it again next turn, but we actually have ways of dealing with it now. Let's see, there's pump heads. The Astro Shroom is gone. That's the good news. How do we do this here? Mug sort of heals our guys, which we're really mostly dealing with Punish Room right now. We could balance a whole Punish Room, which means several shots to face are negated. Or we can just heal our guys. I, I think it's going to be Pogo. Pogo the Mug. Too bad we couldn't play more cards there. Okay, it means our, our ninja can actually... <laughs> Give value. Ah, uh, so we'll get rid of the Punish Room. Disciplined. It means this field lives. I don't really understand. The space time is frenzy, so the seedling just doesn't do anything. He's just throwing a seedling in the trash. In fact, we can't play... Well, we can play Going Viral. We can't play Mug anymore. Yes! Okay. So it's just another playable card. We'll still spawn one Mushroom here, but that's alright. He still has two Punish Rooms in hand. Plus something. Watch him actually, like, kill space-time with his super here. I can play Mug. Come on, man. <laughs> Alright. This is scary, but winnable. There's another one. Oh my gosh, here comes the Punisher. So he's only playing the one Punisher, which is cool. And he only got one shot. In fact, he's getting zero shots. So we'll play this first. Uh, this environment doesn't really matter where. Um, playing this environment right now actually makes a shot happen. Is this not worth it? It's gotta be worth it. It's just too many things for Punisher. It actually triggers that. And it, it hit not... You know, this is the only thing we wanted it to hit there, because anything else either kills a minion or goes face. Alright, that's gone. This will actually conjure us extra cards to maybe... I'd love to get some kind of removal. It would be really nice. Okay... More conjures? These all cost two less. Really sad getting a zero coster there. Alright. There's a eh, three cost screen door shield's pretty good. And there's another one. It cost two less. Quasar. I am probably going for Quasar here. So we can play Berry Treasure, Berry Treasure, Quasar Mug. The Quasar power always costs zero. It's possible we'll get something better. That Viking is very tantalizing. Let's go for the Quasar. Now, we'll play the Viking. Oh gosh, another Quasar. Summoning. Summoning's nice. If we had another superpower, I could have also played this ninja. I think it's just gonna be Mug. And we'll probably, unless Quasar pops out in one, we'll get another superpower. We also appear to move something, I don't know, be great flexing? Yeah. Alright, well, we get another free Quasar superpower. That's a lot of Punisher. Getting just a lightning bolt to kill this would be really, really nice, because it means we're preventing two more shots of two damage. I really think we're doing okay here now. Heal! I'll tell that. Literally, this could be the best thing. This could have been the best superpower in this situation, because he just does not have enough steam to do 13 damage anymore. We'll see if he hits lane 2. That would be the best. <laughs> That's so scary! Terrifying. Absolutely horrific. 7 health, he just did 4, just right off the bat. His nightcap too, he could have fairy blasts and all kinds of stuff. Face! We would have one health. We would have one health if it weren't for that heal. Hell yeah, yeah. So what do we play? This Viking is so sad. Do I just go for the ninja? <laughs> the ninja's probably the play. Maybe I'll go for Quasar. I mean we have a summoning, so the ninja's not very high risk. I don't know what to do here. Alright, 
Go ninja. Die. So if he removes if he removes that lane, we'll we'll summoning in two and we'll be okay. Quasar Quasar actually was the correct play there. I just wanna experience the space ninja. This, by the way, if it's in an environment, splashes one damage around. That's what this does. To all the opponents stuff. The Twitch chat wanted ninja. You guys at home on YouTube want ninja. Presuming this already goes on YouTube, I mean let's be real. That's fine. There's this removal play. This is so that heal, that heal is clutch. Oh my gosh. So the ninja doesn't end up. <laughs> what a summoning though. Watch this be some BS too. Oh, come man, nice. It dies for free, but that's okay. It's awesome. Oh, it does. It kills. It kills everything. Look at the ninja! The ninja's gonna win! It's ninja lethal, guys. Ninja ends up winning the game. I thought it was doing nothing. Can we not Cali roll here? Uh? Uh? Yeet. Got him. Best space ninja ever? I think we'll take that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, that's going to highlight come. Why am I know with the firefighter's I didn't even I forgot it was a firefighter deck. It feels like flag conjure. Um Game five and <laughs> Jolly though. Alright, keep it going. Space Ninja MVP. We're going for that 10 and... <laughs> Firefighter, guys. It's so good. The number of firefighters at the line. It's firefighting time. You guys are a bunch of morphs. Oh, I definitely should have kept Pogo, by the way, against Captain Combustible. I don't know what I'm thinking. Clearly not. Here's Coast. Uh, I'm gonna spam this on one. Because if, he, if he's scared of this and put something in front of it, and that means we got out of turn one scot free. It's okay. Alright, so we'll play space time. We'll go from there. Should have bet more friends. Sad face. You're winning! It's working. We have, two, we have two dead cards. We're gonna lose the game because we have two completely useless, unplayable pieces of garbage. Oh my gosh! Look at the turn three combo. It's gonna activate the the, the Tankylosaurus. It's gonna do two damage just on the Dino Roar. Plus, we're gonna conjure another sweet, sweet legendary. This is so good. Imagine if we got like another playable card here too. So that goes up to four. I, I wonder if I should play the Tankylosaurus here. I think I'm not. I think the, the damage here is not scary enough. Like, we want the Tankylosaurus to live. Plus, we can block and actually get another Oh my gosh. Uh, so here's another Conjure, which is cool. I, I'm still gonna go... Okay, hold on, hold on. It's more likely for us to get a playable card from this. Well... Alright, Tankylosaurus, and I'll block this lane, which is probably a good idea anyway. And we'll, we'll do the Buried Treasure later. There's a one cost. It went face! We wanted just to kill a minion. One of these would have been really nice. Alright, we'll try to get some more. One cost ninja. I feel like the block, though, usually happens this turn. Very blast. It's not enough. And bonus, that's fine. It's not a, it's too weak. That's not a good enough time to shine. This could end up just dying for, from the Tinklesaurus shot here. I think we keep this here. Because really hitting any of these minions is fine. Alright, it turns out he made a good play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another two, really two more free, unless he gets Meteor. Could you not get Meteor, please? Yes, so this is gonna be another. Please kill one. Don't go face. No, 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 no. Yes, perfect. Okay, so here's 
Pogo ain't bad. I like this play better. We're gonna go Buried Treasure, Space Ninja. It's gonna conjure a card. Card chase is not what we wanted. That goes space. So now we're gonna play Neptuna Super, which we can play defensively, and we can also in encrypt for another draw, which means another Tankalosaurus shot. The two cost Tankalosaurus taking over the game. Let's go. Plus, he has to play around in environments now because we have this garbage on the field. If I will encrypt something, it'll be this, which actually pops out next turn and draws another card. Maybe I should play Firefighter to rescue this card, because it's low on health. <laughs> I have no intention of playing Firefighter this game, not gonna lie. That's annoying. I think we do this still. Oh, the tank dies. That's okay, we'll just kill the Pogo next turn. Let's just get all the value we can from this tank. Yay! Yeah. Uh, this might as well go in the water. Yep. Alright, that was definitely enough value from two cost tanks. <laughs> yeah. I know without playing the Neptuna Super, the Pogo body could have killed us, but. We can actually play Firefighter here and scoop this. It means this won't live, but maybe that's okay. Should I just play Firefighter because we have a chance to play it? <laughs> Alright. Screw it. It's a fine day to Firefight. It means we'll have the Pogos the next two turns. In fact, you can Firefighter a Pogo. Never thought of that. I think the chat wants to see Firefighter. Everyone who voted no wants me to play Firefighter. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. We got middle manager for middle manager. But we might as well grab this. It means this doesn't grow. Firefighter, you're so bad. <laughs> Terrible. But it wins the trade. If he embiggens this, it doesn't. No, 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 no. Yes, that's fine. I just don't want this to live. That is so okay. Alright, so we're just going to ride these pogos for the rest of this match. Two for one. Firefighter, two for one. Let's go. So I'm going to play... I'm going to... I think I, we just spam everything here, right? So let's middle manager first. Middle manager second. And good old pogey. We actually... Um, there's a little synergy here. Guys, we're not going for turn 10 Garg Feast against Captain Combustible, by the way. Against Captain Combustible, you're never safe. How it goes. It's really nice that we're able to bounce this here, though. And this grows. Thank you for wasting a whole card to buff one of my... Oh my gosh. Imagine if he had that time to shine, by the way. He was the one who wasted, he wasted time to shine earlier, right? We'd be dead. We'd be just dead. Firefighter beats Captain Combustible. I never thought of that. That's a million IQ. Oh, daddy. Happy Father's Day. Alright, this is awesome. What do we do here? I think it's some flag combo. Two. Five. How do you do this? It's like... This, like this, I like this. Heck yeah. That's fine. Very fast to face. Okay. Uh, no blow. Place another card, one blow. Let it blow. Do we blow? No, we don't blow. We mug. The last superpower is his... Is in big end. We do not blow. And big end doesn't do anything. I'm so happy you don't have to play around time to shine. Now he's very... I mean... He has Sergeant Strongberry plus what? There's not... I mean... 
Oh no, if he top decks a Shelf Shroom, we're actually Dunzo McDunzo big time. He needs a Berry Blast, and he wins the game here still. Happy Father's Day, Who would have known? Thank you, Super Chicken. Real appreciate it. No, 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 no. No, 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 Berry Blast. Please, please, please. He doesn't have it. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. He doesn't have it. He does not have it. He did not top deck Berry Blast, guys. There's no way. Being a freaking drama queen, not playing this card, by the way. It's so dramatic. Uh, what? Suspense? Such, such suspenseful. Stop being a drama queen and play the goddamn card. Come on, man. Princess. Princess combustible. He totally has very blessed, doesn't he? Huh? 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 <laughs> Come on. Gotta click fast. Yes! We won! <laughs> I'm so happy! Firefighter OP. I don't care. I don't care. We won. Easy. <laughs> Yay. Heck yeah. It's a very happy day for all the juice. Five and out. Oh. He just quit. We'll never know where that last card was. It was probably like sour grapes, and he was just being a salty, salty, salty boy. All right, warlord. We got our firefighter, so we're good to go. I think we can like flag combo onto firefighter on three and like scoop like the flag or one of the middle managers back. It really could work. Clearly didn't believe in the heart of the cards. Exactly, just the one. Exactly. You guys know how this works already. Uh, I'm just thinking lanes. Um, I suppose we'll want to save these two lanes for, like, a genetic experiment later. It doesn't really matter. I'm really overthinking this. Okay, I'm gonna play... Uh, in case we get a second middle manager, uh, then we'll want it to be to the right of the flag zombie. There's... Um... Um... Do we play this yet, though, or do we just wait for next turn? He could actually kill the flag zombie. So I'm gonna go with this. That's actually really good. So good. Because... Look at all the professionals, too. It, it means the firefighter is going to be a 5 6. DMR was fed this That's deck. Three cost five, six, guys. It. That's okay. Bad Moon Rising would be. <laughs> too bad Neptuna can't have Bad Moon Rising. Yeah, Conjurer and Bad Moon Rising are good because you end up conjuring all this cheap stuff and you just end up with these automatically good Bad Moon Rising. See, so this is why you want to actually play this first so okay here's the interaction if i'm i, I don't know if i've ever even um I, I i mean i probably have seen this many years ago because how often do you even see firefighter play uh, i'm pretty sure oh we can't even play it though never mind i'm pretty sure if you scoop up headstone carver so then it's not gonna get a buff i think that's obvious right the card that pops out happens first and then the other things happen second you're annoying Wow, lame. The cool thing is that this actually... <sighs> okay, the flag. This actually pops out as a 2-3. I, I think I'm just... Well, I mean, the flag never lives to be able to make a warlord happen early. I, the question is, what are we... I guess we're just popping the headstone carver back with our, with our warlord now. No, here's a million. Oh, I missed it! 
A million IQ would have been the gravestone this, and then we can actually buff the firefighter next turn, so it won't, it won't actually kill anything. I missed the play. Okay, we'll get one of these later. This is so sad. Very sad. It, it would encrypt in one, so then... Uh, no, sorry, this would have... Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't a good play. Never mind. I miscalculated. If this had been on the right, that would... Oh no, it would never really work, would it? Because then it would pop up after. I'm just really stupid. Guys, ignore everything I said in the last 30 seconds because it's completely stupid and unredeeming. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But we can actually play this later, though. Firefire is not a good card. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Terrible card. Uh, I will not play around the key. I'll go for the more damage sooner. No, it's not a thing. <laughs> There's no way that encrypting a headstone carver will ever make it actually buff firefighter. That's a complete brain fart. It makes absolutely no sense. It doesn't matter which one's on the left, which one's on the right. It's absolutely... No. It's just no. That's fine. Oh my gosh. So now, unless he gets his Chompzilla Super, which please don't... Yes, it means we're gonna mug this this warlord like a million times. It's a very happy day for very many Jews indeed. You know, since he doesn't really have a good way of dealing with a 2-4, I'm gonna play the Headstone Carver dry. I guess I'll play it here, because why not? So this happens first. You sort of want the headstone carver to be pop to be out of the gravestone first, so why not just not include it? Shut up and take my money. It should be now I am top donated. Ha ha ha! And can you please do a very fun deck with mini conjures tomorrow? We're doing that today. Maybe. Give me an idea. The best way to get me to do a de deck is give me an idea, a fun idea I've never tried before. Something that could work. That is literally how you manipulate. I'm telling you guys my weakness. You can do this in YouTube comments, too. I hardly ever get deck suggestions in YouTube comments. Um, sometimes I do, but like I've tried it before. I'll try to leave a link. But uh, the way to manipulate me to do a deck is think of a combo I've never done before. Something that is a little catchy, you know what I mean? Something that would be fun. And, um, and yeah, you'll convince me. So this goes to 7-7. Seven, seven. And this goes to <laughs> it's actually 8-8 eight, eight now. <laughs> Guys, look at the heels. Look at the Venus flytrap getting it done. He's growing his Pepper MD by 2-2, two, two, and I'm growing my life by 3-3. Three, three. Pretty damn good. I'll pogo next turn. No need to no need to jump the gun. We can actually just We can actually just play this and um and going viral. Which means we're doing a lot of damage. I mean, even just these two will be 11, 13, 15, with the heels. It doesn't really work with the heels, but... Shut up and take my money! Alright, let's go with this. We'll do this ja -ja 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 -ja. The Divorced the Jew. <laughs> Thank you, the Divorced Jew. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, we actually win like this. This encrypt that I was gonna misplay before. Oh! Oh, that was stupid. Never mind. This doesn't even heal. Oh no, it heals by itself. It heals the natural six. It won't heal a second time for, from Venus Flytrap. But now, unless he Kaylee rolls, it's gone. 7 0 with the Firefighter deck. It's the greatest day ever. We have over 400 people here now? Damn. God damn. Thank y'all for joining me on this very fine Sunday. Twitch for me says 392, so we just need eight more people. Firefighter deck is the best deck. Come on, seven and zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll just keep Pogo Mug. So bad. <laughs> what do I do? I'm probably being disciplined and actually going for early game. Okay, so now we never have early game, right? Alright. 
Here's the plan. I'm playing this in the middle to absorb his super. Or whatever else he does on one. That is fine. Let's see if we top deck something here. It would be really nice. Yeah, we can play with blow. Okay, no. It's just blow. Alright, goodbye. Uh, let's see if we get a playable card. It would be really nice. Anything. Anything that's... Yes! <laughs> Something second playable card? Now, now we're just getting spoiled. Is what's going on? For real. Yeah, that's a good hand. We actually got out of the first three turns there, so. Yeah, Twitch now says four or five. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, guys, we have over 400 people watching a live TV hero stream. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you guys so much. I think the firefighter is the play. He actually always has a torchwood in his hand, so we're gonna have to um, view the bouncer. Kill this podfather before it's too late. He's so gonna torchwood. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really weird torchwood. So the bounce. I think we just kill the the podfather. Having another bounce, we're probably anyway gonna just warlord here. I think the Podfather being the engine of his deck, if we take that out, it's going to be sad. I, I hopefully he doesn't have another one. And throwing him and make a really pirate pretty and be alive, of course, HG, and, I, and I, also can yeah, add some frozen up. mustache. Um, so this, we'll go with Warlord first. What did you just say? Play this here so we proc the block late. Before, I mean, this is a good trade, this against Torchwood. We like this 2-2 two -two here. What was that? Message? Thank you. Oh, four for three bucks. In throwing him. We. So you're giving me a deck suggestion? Hold on one second, I gotta read this. He has another pod father. In throwing him. Leap. Booty. Bad moon rise. Frosty. <laughs> you're just throwing me a bunch of conjure cards. We have done imp moon rising before. You're gonna have to do better than that. Better than that. So, I think it's just Flag Warlord. And we'll still continue to play defensively. Does he have a Torchwood in hand? Oh, he does. I forgot he has a Torchwood. Damn stupid. We just killed this for free. It would have been better to, to do this dry and take the damn. Wow. No, no, no. Does he have a Torchwood? Why is he not playing it? He could have done five damage. Wait, did we kill? He bounced the Torchwood in lane 4, but he already played the one in lane 2. I don't know why he didn't play Torchwood there. Okay, this hand sucks. <laughs> this hand sucks. We're so done, guys. We are so done. And these firefighters are gonna... We're gonna die to this deck. Maybe keeping the Pogo around was the way. This does so much damage here. Oofy. I guess at least... At least killing the Torchwood to make it not hit us again? I don't know, man. Honestly, this deck, because of our small removal problem, which we don't really have any, uh, getting a couple Podfathers could really do it. He's doing so much damage here. So much damage here! <laughs> 14. Uh, he usually doesn't win. If we're really lucky, we'll roll a 2 and a 3. Yes! We still have 15 health! How do we do this? Okay, he's usually not gonna anyway have anything to protect this next turn, so we'll go after that. And we'll try to, I don't know. As fatherless as I may be happy Father's Day, also get bricked fool. Thank you, Super Chicken. So, 5 plus 3 looks like the play. Well, it's so sad. <laughs> Firefighter's garbage. We don't have to play Firefighter, it doesn't matter. We have to start working on this card before it kills us. I hope the mix of Gravedigger stays and then lives. I don't know. Maybe going face there was the way? Because 7 plus 4 
But he has a full block meter, so... Gosh, that's so much damage. I think the firefighters are finally catching up to us here. That's fine. Um, so if 7 and 5 does not win... So... We're actually usually gonna win... Let's save this turn. Oh my gosh, imagine us California rolling. He actually, he actually rolled a 1 there. We are blocking, like, insane blocking. Like, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm gonna do this so we can... And not only does it heal this card, and it survives the 5 damage, we just really need to get a Pogo or something here. If we win this game right now, man, this is BS. Absolute garbage. So now we have 2, 4, 3 is the play. Look at this now. So you go here. This is actually doing 0. Guys, I actually think we have this in the bag. For real. Here's 4. Mix up everything again. And then going viral. What is he going to do? He's going to get one more shot of 15 from the goddamn card, but I think it's going to be too little too late. That's okay. It does not do nearly enough. <laughs> Here's another card. Get Bungie Plumber. <laughs> that would have been a miracle. I think we're fine either way, though, for real. This takes seven, but it doesn't even die. It doesn't even die. In fact, yeah, we'll just proc the block. Um... Okay, his ultimate, maybe I should not, I should have really thought before going viral, because at this point, his ultimate power wins the game. It's a one in three. His blow usually wins the game. He used freeze, so blow wins the game. Ultimate wins the game. Blow, blow would have to blow this one for him not to win. Uh, and the last superpower is just... Um, Embiggen. Embiggen does not win. So we either need him to get Embiggen. Oh no, he can't blow lane one. Lane one's dead. Never mind. So on this, that was actually a really stupid going viral. I should not have played it. We would have just taken two damage in the last lane. We would have been fine. If he gets Embiggen... Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. That is a goddamn mirror. I don't care if this thing is nine attack. We, we still survive. You take two damage here. Now this is winnable. How do we do this? We need something with six attack. Firefighter for the win? Should have drawn a card first, right? Firefighter for the win? Plant food doesn't do enough. It doesn't do anything. Firefighter for the win. Plant food is not enough here. He needs a second plant food now. Prox the block. Godlike blocks. Absolutely godlike. No! <laughs> Have you tried doing for tomorrow either alien zombies versus monster zombies or zombies that look like fathers for Father's Day and I a top donated ha ha ha? I, I I thought he I really thought he froze something earlier, but I'm, I must be mixing it up with an earlier game. This is what happens when I stream. I'm not tracking superpowers, and if a green shadow played it three three games ago, I think he used freeze already. I can't believe it. We were so close. Wow. Wow. We almost got him with Firefighter. We were so close. He used Iceberg Lettuce. I thought it was his super. I wasn't even playing around his ultimate the whole game. It was an Iceberg Lettuce he used earlier. That's so funny.
Who even runs iceberg lettuce? I really thought it was. Mom bad. I'm spacing out as usual. Oh, that's going in the fail comp. What a game, man. What a game. What a game. Oh, that is... Shut up and take my money! Don't try and out top donate me fool. It won't end well. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> All right, we're seven and one. Hey, the bets aren't even over yet. We can actually go seven and three. We could lose the next two games. The bets are not over. Not even close. What is going on? Yeah, the firefighters kind of broke the game, but you know. Three Peter best card. That guy really got us. All right. Uh, so we got a good turn three, and it's a turn four. Oh, man. Oh, what is going on here? I wonder if we just flag this turn. I don't think we do. If we wait one more turn and get cheap conjures and spam them even harder. That's fine. Because I just will just get very blasted here. Who was the one with the last donation? I missed it. It was Super Chicken. Thank you for 15. Damn, sorry. I was writing down the highlight. Really appreciate it. Super Chicken. All right, so this is really cool. We're going to go flag. I guess the flag goes here. Yep. And then we're going to play Space Time. And then we'll play this. See what we conjure. It costs less. costs two less. Wow, that's very cool. Play you. And all right. Now we have a very epic hand indeed. And if he tries to kill the flag, it just buffs these. So these are actually going to be threats now. This is totally fine. Um, the flag is dead, so we're playing... What do we play? Pogo? Firefighter? Like, literally considering playing Firefighter. Let's go, Pogo. Yeah, this deck does have a two. Because of Firefighter, the curve is too high. It should have another one, two, or three. Instead of that, but... You know, imagine trying. Too bad Space Time's not professional. The, the things in this deck that are professional is kind of like... Mm. Alright. In this game, I mean. That is fine. These guys are hitting. 2-2 two, two is fine. And they can grow even more. So I'm just gonna play this garbage in lane one before he blocks. God, I'm bugged. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is better. And if he does any damage to it, these now become three twos. Which is awesome! This is just such a huge threat. It's so hard for him to deal with the armor and the high health, and it's doing so much damage, so... 
<laughs> He's just going after these. He can't deal with this. He's not blocking, which is cool. Not even close. And shroom, because yeah. So that's doing uh, two overshoot and then six bullseye. So it's almost lethal. <laughs> Getting very close. Uh, we'll block here. I think we'll just we'll just go face. <laughs> um We could mug. I'm gonna I'm gonna warler. This is the lane he has to deal with. He doesn't he only has one superpower. Get here. Alright, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> with two superpowers, this would actually be scary to repeat Maul's combo, but with one, like, what the heck is he gonna do? Uh, going viral, what? Oh, did I have a going viral there? Anyway. <sighs> Heck yeah, alright, so the answer is yes. Duh. Best deck ever, come on. Yes. <laughs> ah, this is a fun stream. Uh, no, we'll, we'll go for that early. Early, come on, space time. You know what? Screw it. We'll just end up with two cards on the field and some insane late game. One of these really might end up being, well, it'd have to be a two-cost legendary. I guess Teleportation Zombie would be playable. I don't care. That's a lot of value. Maybe we'll top deck space time and just do all this on turn three. Alright, we're doing it now. Flag Zombie. Buried. Buried. Uh, that's a 7 cost plane blocker, 6 if you count the flag. So we have a finisher, that's nice. Uh, tele we have, we have actually turned 7 teleport space with a plank walker, it's pretty damn weird. We have one mustache in this deck, I'll just spam this. I'll spam this. I'll spam this. I'm nice to play slightly around Scorch, not really. But okay. Plus, this is the one doing the damage, and if he hits it, then it buffs the professional synergy. Or he could just go seedling. Oh my gosh. Okay, as long as he doesn't get BS from the seedling, we're gonna be fine. Come on, seedling, just be a seedling. Seedling from seedling would be fine. <laughs> that is okay, that is above average, and we have two cost card. Think about it. Two cost, zero, one, turn into a three, three bullseye next turn. That uh, might be a playable, playable guy. We are actually going to go Firefighter here, yup. Really good. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, turn three Firefighter. And what the scoop is good. There, there's a lot of options here. I'll probably scoop the Middle Manager. Um, this is turn four, right? We'll scoop this. The one that's not doing it. Plus... The firefighter makes this go up to be a 2 2. So get... This is actually good. Plus, firefighter is a 4 2 after winning the trade. So... And now it's going to be a 0 0 because. But it goes up to 3 2. Look at the synergy, guys. Honestly, it's just because of middle manager and flag zombie that I really want to run firefighters. So this kind of exemplifies why I chose this strat. Alright guys, we're going for um, Plank Walker next turn. Now we have turn turn 5 Plank Walker coming right up. Right after these brief messages. I really hope he just kills something that's... Oh, that's fine. I kind of want an extra Plank Walker thing. And he got built... And, and he got... <laughs> he got the zero attack strike through. Heck yeah. Should we blow? No, we don't blow here. Yeet. I think just 5 cost 6, 6 Amphibious with nothing else is fine. He's not gonna kill the flag zombies. 
We can teleport Plankwalker. So if he kills one of these, it'll make an extra minion. Turn five Plankwalker, let's go! Can you please kill something? Just Berry Blast- this is a 5-2! You gotta deal with it, bro. God, he's lame. Okay, you know what? It's just fight- it's just Plankwalker and we'll Warlord next turn and make it a 7 six. You know what? I don't care. It's a 6-6 six, six Amphibious Sprite Through. Screw it. Good enough. Good enough. 5 plus 6-6 six, six Strike Through and it's gonna be 7-7 seven, seven next turn. Cause screw you. Button shrooms. Go to one and two, so we actually it's actually lethal. It's actually lethal. <laughs> Look at the middle manager getting it done. Alright guys. What a way to end it. Heck yes. Where's Bright Rose? No. Absolutely not. Alright guys, that was the that was the firefighter <laughs> warlord deck. Shut up. It's great. It's amazing. One of the most fun, highlight-filled, absolutely awesome, freaking amazing streams we've had in a long, long time. Thank you to all, I mean, 400 at a time, but like literally 1,500 to 2,000 people in and out today in this live stream. And uh, many more than that on YouTube. Thank you all for joining me on this wonderful experience we had today on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads around there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Obviously. Peace. This is Fry.